Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Today we're back with the Empire, gonna be taking on the High Elves, so let's get to the army composition. My forces are gonna be led by the hidden arch lector behind the, uh, the slope here. He's hidden from my enemies currently. Of course, supporting the Royal Altar Griffites. He's gonna be using his faith buffs to make them more scary than they already are. In terms of the rest of the army here, we've got two groups of Reichsguard, one here and the Zindler's Reichsguard over on the far side. A huge line of state troops with four spearmen with shields, four swordsmen, plus the Sigmar Sons for five swordsmen in total. We've also got an Amber Wizard, been wanting to try out the Amber Spear. I put him on the ground just because, from what I understand, the Amber Spear is better from a low angle, shooting like through the side of a unit, for example. Um, so we're going to try that out here. I've also got the fan favorite hell blaster volley gun yes indeed pretty decent against the high elves especially on a map like this where i have a decent hill advantage and there's sort of this river they have to advance across potentially uh, very advantageous for me so if we go ahead and have a look at the high elf list here techless going to be leading the way looks like uh, net of amatok flaming sword of ruin and flock of doom always good choices although i would have liked to have seen regrowth as well He's got two white lions through the center, one of which is the Pure Main Company, the Regiment of Renown. Pretty decent. Two Swordmasters of Hoeth and Spearmen out to the flanks. He's got two Sisters of Avalorn and an Archer with Light Armor, interesting, in the center. Scions of Mothlon also protecting the rear. And the solo mobility option is going to be the very expensive Fireborn. So without further ado, let's get the battle into full gear. You can see uh, we're going to be doing a bit of an artillery skirmish, of course, since I have a very heavy artillery force. Uh, my opponent, unfortunately, did not bring any counter artillery, which the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers are a very good counter artillery option, so I would definitely recommend bringing them. Um, Hammer of Witches not really meant against infantry, but that's not to say that it won't do damage to them. And these Sisters of Avalorn are a very high value target, so we're going to try and start doing damage from a distance. You can see the Hellblaster Volley Gun also opening up shots here, the little machine gun shots just doing an amazing amount of damage. Uh, considering that was just a handful of volleys, it cut through a bunch of the Swordmaster Spearmen and the Sisters of Avalorn there. So, uh, yeah. The biggest drawback to the Hellblaster Volley Gun is it's relatively low range, but you can see it's very effective in taking out these infantry here. And uh, yeah, already racked up uh, 26 kills, just about got an XP Chevron, so pretty good value in my book. You can see in general the Heil Force is taking quite a bit of damage from the artillery on the approach here. And uh, yeah, this map in particular, uh, Womprak Gulch I believe is the name. Very, very good for Empire Artillery. You can see this uh, Hellblaster Volley Gun is going to start to get some return fire here from the Sisters of Avalorn and more, which will certainly be uncomfortable, but they are just gunning down this unit of Swordmasters. They've pretty much taken them out uh, completely, which is more or less paying for itself in terms of this Hellblaster. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately they are going to get routed off, but they did manage to get an XP Chevron. You can see a general engagement, uh, kind of counter charge, going to be going down across the field. Net of Amantok on those Zindler's Reichsguard. Uh, just the time and place, and then the Fireborn are going to follow up, unfortunately, for the Fireborn. Ooh, there's the Amber Spear, and look at it cut through like half the unit there. That literally just killed... Hang on, let's do some math here. So, they went from 45 to 28 models, so that killed, uh, what, like 17 unit models from one Amber Spear. Where's that Amber Wizard at? Over here, buddy. 17 kills from one Amber Spear on one of the most expensive units of cavalry. No, the most expensive unit of cavalry in the game. So, uh, if that wasn't enough to stack this engagement against them, Arch Lecter's going to come in, drop his faith buffs, and it's going to be all over Lawbreakers for these Fireborn here. Unfortunately, just going to get cut to absolute ribbons. And, uh, yeah, there's definitely some merit to that... Uh, so that Amber Spear thing that you guys were talking about, um, Reichsgar just pushing through the front line, those very tattered Swordmasters not able to hold together. They did manage, uh, the Sisters of Avalorn did manage to route off the Volley Gun, but the Zindler's Reichs, or the regular Reichsgar rather, going to get back in the back line and start shutting them down. A little bit of friendly fire from the cannon there as these Spearmen fight the Sisters of Avalorn and Teclis, but uh, definitely worth it as the Sisters of Avalorn, of course, very, very much more expensive than the, uh, than the Spearmen there, so... Uh, the Demis and the Zindler's Reichsguard starting to roll up the flanks since those uh, Fireborn are more or less shattered. In fact, they are shattered. So we're going to start to use the Terror and the Shock Damage of uh, the Reichsguard and the Demis here 
you just roll up this this flank here and start to route off a lot of these units you can see the terror is going to be an issue for a lot of the high elves uh, Swordmaster is still holding their leadership together for the moment, and unfortunately that Amber Wizard, the beast that he is, uh, did get routed off there, um, which is not great, but a nice uh, flock of doom coming down from my opponent, but unfortunately at this point it's just too little too late. Balance of power is already heavily against the uh, the High Elves. Techlist going to try and escape here from the Demis, just hunting him down very aggressively, but uh, unfortunately he's going to have a pretty hard time doing so. Reichsguard still just in this sustained combat over here, and that's one of the great things about Reichsguard is uh, in terms of shock cavalry, they have really good combat stats. They're up to an XP chevron, uh, 90 kills, doing very well for themselves, all things considered. And uh, now the Royal Alt of Griffites and the Arch Lector are landing home a rear charge in this big old blob of Pure Main Company and uh, the Scions of Mothlon and more. And uh, yeah, looks like the uh, Sigmar Suns making their last stand here against the Pure Main Company. A little bit of danger close, friendly fire. Oh man, that was a headshot if I've ever seen one. But, uh, yeah, definitely rough stuff for the High Elves. Like I said, I think this could have somewhat been prevented by counter-battery fire from some Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, although they can be tricky to protect against the Empire Swarm. Uh, Empire is actually a pretty good Swarm faction. Uh, Empire is just a faction that does almost everything well. Um, but in general, they're a very powerful Swarm faction that can bring a lot of really cost-effective units to the table, uh, covering all phases of the battle. And for the High Elves, that can be pretty hard to deal with because of their lower lower model count. But uh, yeah, in terms of the army breakdown here, you can see at the end of the day, 53 kills and an XP chevron for that Hellblaster volley gun. The one Swordmaster that it was focused on was completely combat ineffective. The other one did manage to get 90 kills, not too bad. But the Empire State Troops overall holding out very well on the front line there. 17 of those 20 kills, as we know from the Amber Wizard, came from a single Amber Spear on the Fireborn, so I might be taking that more often against the Heavy Cavalry Factions, just to see, you know, if you can get a good angle on it. Uh, you don't necessarily want to cast it from the air, because then it's just going to hit the ground, but it seems like hitting unit models doesn't dissipate the, or at least hitting cavalry models doesn't dissipate the missile, so it'll cut through the entire unit almost like a cannonball. Um, so yeah, that was absolutely brutal. I'm um, definitely going to be bringing that to the table more often. Reichsguard also doing very well. 110 kills, 2 XP chevrons on the one that collapsed the wounded swordmasters, and also tied up a bunch of the ranged units in the back line. 62 kills, 54 on the Royal Altar of Griffites. So just all across the board, an uh, overwhelming victory for the Empire. Uh, we did manage to lose, just about lose our Amber Wizard there and some frontline units, but other than that, it was a very solid win for the Empire. Like I said, for my opponent, personally, I would probably cut the Swordmasters in the front line. I mean, yes, they'll beat great swords, but I think with the High Elves, you need to win in other ways rather than with your infantry. Um, if you were to have, you know, cut the two, these two, and maybe even cut the two White Lines as well, just go with Spearmen for a front line, bring more cavalry and more ranged, and critically, bring at least two Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers to do counter battery fire, even if they don't necessarily trade super great with the cannons just because they get outranged by them. You can take out the Hell Blaster Volley Gun because of its relatively short range. So uh, just some thoughts in that regard. Um, but Techless, honestly, not a bad choice, although you definitely want to bring Regrowth with him. Uh, he can be a little bit risky, though. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So... Um, you know, I actually quite like lore of high magic against the Empire just in case they bring a flying lord or hero. I didn't in that case, but it's still a pretty solid pick and also gives you healing. So, whoops, not the Empire. We're looking at the high elves here. So, uh, Tyrion, honestly, not a bad choice. The princess can't be okay, or the prince if you put him up, up on a dragon, although it's pretty risky. But in general, I think Tyrion might be a good option here just because he's relatively tanky. You can give him that faint and repost. And uh, both his items here, Sunfang's going to be really good at just blowing through state troops. So that in and of itself will be pretty beneficial. And then we want to grab a uh, High Mage here. And we're going to bring uh, Apotheosis. Hand of Glory is also pretty decent as well. And Tempest. So relatively light spell loadout. But all of these spells are going to be potentially useful. And then just go with more of like a Spearman front line. We'll grab the two Claw Bolt Throwers and uh, give them a few Chevrons make them more accurate and give them a better refire rate. We'll put them up to rank 3, let's say. And then a couple of Illyrian Reaver Archers, including the Regiment of Renown, perhaps. If, if we don't have the extra cost, we may cut that down later. But just to kind of be annoying and try and draw your opponent's 
uh, expensive units out into an unfavorable situation. A couple of Dragon Princes. Fireborn, uh, they're just so expensive here. It's tough to recommend them. Um, but something like this, and then maybe even have some fun. You come in here, you grab like a Tyranoch Chariot or something just to run through the lighter Empire Infantry. Um, but uh, this is going to have some trouble dealing with Demis, so I might have to do some fine-tuning on some of these lists. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, though. What's your go-to High Elf versus Empire list? It's a matchup that I actually find to be pretty good for the Empire. The Empire Act is just in such a solid place right now, in my opinion. I really like where they're at, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.